asking at this time that all program participants will now enter into the pulpit area.
to you, God.
anybody come to lift him up tonight? Did anybody come to lift him up tonight? Come on, let's give God praise in the house. Amen. How many of you are happy to be in the house of the Lord? Amen. Come on, let's give God the best praise that we have on tonight. Hallelujah. 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 You may be seated for our prayer of invocation on tonight. Father God, we come to lift you up on tonight because you have been so good to us. You brought us from a mighty long ways. And Father God, for that, we just want to say thank you. And we ask, Lord, that you come into this place on tonight. Touch us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord. Save us, Lord. Because we have a praise on the inside. Because you've been so good, Lord. And we just ask that you just have your way in this place. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. And the blessed people of God declared amen, amen. and amen. Come on, put those hands together. Give God praise. As we prepare now for our ushers grand march amen come on let's give god praise for our ushers amen come on you could do better than that let's give god praise for our ushers on tonight amen how many of you come to praise them tonight amen amen i feel like god is getting ready to do something in this place tonight just look at your neighbor and say neighbor i don't know what you come to do but i come to give god some praise do we got at least 10 praises in the house? Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Let's give God praise for our ushers as they march. And come on, let's, let's get excited for them. Amen. Yeah. Workers Memorial, come on. Come on, y'all going to have to do better than that in the South. You know, we, we put our hands on it. Amen. 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 <laughs> Come on. Come on, help the ushers. If you see your church, you ought to give God praise. Show us how to do it, Usher's Workman Memorial. Yes. It's time to show Archer just Memorial. how grateful we are. We are always oh, time. Yes, yes, it's time. Oh, it's time. Just how grateful we are. We are always time. Yes, yes, it's time. Oh, it's time. I see your mother. An offering to God. It's time to memorial. An offering. 
offering to God. Yeah, All so right. it's time to show just how grateful we are. Just how grateful we are. We are all this time. Yes, it's time. Oh, it's time to bring your offering to God. Oh, it's time to bring your offering to God. Yes, yeah, so oh, it's time to show just how grateful. of our Lord than to dwell in the tents of wickedness. Amen. Let's give God praise for all of our ushers once again. The scripture lesson tonight will be given to us by Reverend LaMonica Johnson, following by prayer, Reverend Patricia C. Washington Rice, and a selection by the Metropolitan AME Zion Church. Let the church say amen. Amen. Good evening, church. Our scripture lesson for this evening will be coming from 1 Chronicles chapter 4. 1 Chronicles chapter 4. And I'll be reading verses 9 through 10 in your hearing. And it reads, 
Jabez was more honorable than his brothers. His mother had named him Jabez, saying, I gave birth to him in pain. Jabez cried out to the God of Israel, Oh, that you would bless me and enlarge my territory. Let your hand be with me and keep me from harm so that I will be free from pain. And God granted his request. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Let us pray. Father God, here we are again. God, we are so grateful to you for what you've already done. God, from the beginning of this conference up until now, you've been with us, God. Matter of fact, you met us in this place, God, and you have not left us. For that, God, we say thank you. Because God, you've been so good, you've been so kind. God, you have led us and guided us and protected us. God, we thank you for how you allow our presiding elder to lead us through this conference up to this point, God. Oh, Father God, we thank you because we know your hands were upon him, God. And that is why we are here tonight, God. Father God, we thank you for all that our hearts have felt, for our ears have heard their God. And Father God, we thank you for the part that we know, God, that we can have application made to our lives, God, that we might be better off there, God. Father God, we thank you because when we think about you, God, how you stepped out of eternity into time, God, that you may lead us back to eternity through your son, Jesus. God, we say thank you. God, we thank you because there's no other God like you, God. There's no other God that would hold us and protect us and care for us the way you do, God. Father God, no other God that when we stumble, God, you are there to help us. And even if we fall, God, you pick us up, God. You cleaned us off, God, and you give us another opportunity for that. opportunity. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, God, we thank you for all of those who are assembled here tonight, Lord Jesus. They have come, God, that they might hear from heaven, God. And Father God, knowing you are the God that you are, you will not disappoint, God. So, Father God, I pray for the preacher. God, I pray for the preacher that when he open his mouth, God, he will have fire rain down from heaven upon us, God, that our parts, souls there, God, might be revived there, God. Speak to the preacher, Lord Jesus, that he might speak to us, Lord Jesus. We need a word, God. We need a word from on high, Father God. So anoint your preacher there, God, that when he comes there, God, it would be like fire falling from heaven, God. Oh, God, and burn anything that's not like you, God, and replenish all that's in us that's like you, God. Oh, Father God, have your way in this place tonight, God. Have your way in this place tonight, dear God, and let us not leave this place the way we came, God. But those who are just joining us tonight, God, refresh them, God, as you've been doing us all from the beginning of this conference up until now, God. Let them know, God, that you are still answering prayers, God, that you have not forgotten about them, God. Father God, we thank you. We thank you, God. We praise you, God. We honor you, God. We worship you, God. We glorify your name, God. Father God, we know, dear God, that without you, we are nothing, God. But with you, dear God, we can be all that you have purposed us to be, God. So, Father God, have your way now. Have your way, Lord Jesus. It is in Jesus' name we do pray. And the people of God said, Amen. 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 And amen. 
amen. To God be the glory, amen.
let's give God praise. Amen. At this time, it is an honor and a privilege to introduce to you our presiding elder, Reverend Moses L. Harvell. Come on, put your hands together as we receive our presiding elder. Hallelujah. Ooh, we it's hot up in here. Ah, oh, it's on fire. Praise God. I saw Sister Como. You got some moves. Oh, praise God. It's nothing like having church, isn't it? I tell you, nothing like having church. Praise God, we're grateful. It's about time somebody said we celebrate the ushers. Come on. Tell somebody, it's about time. Look at somebody and say, it's about time we celebrate the ushers. Thank you all so much for your continued faithful service Sunday after Sunday. Standing when you don't feel like standing, smiling when you don't feel like smiling, but doing the work of the Lord. Yeah. Sister Eloise Ruiz, come here, just come stand right in the front. I just want to show you that. Come on. I will direct the just give a hand. I want just come on, come on. I want to come this way. Don't have to say anything. Just come this way. <laughs> She is the director of Ursus for the Hartford District. Come on, come on, give it up for her. I've been saying to her, I want to do this. I want us to have a Ursus march, and and I uh, and it and it happened. It happened. Uh, she wasn't sure she still had the position of what the position really meant. But anyway, praise the Lord. We had a Usher Smart, and thank you for your willingness to serve. And God will use you just because you're willing. Give her another hand and give us another hand. It's about time we celebrate you. It's preaching time. I used to say at Metropolitan, there's two times we get happy. It's offering time and what? <laughs> preaching time. And tonight it is preaching time. And we do have a preacher. Uh, we do. I had a preacher today at the communion service, my pastor. She preached, Reverend Robin Anderson. <laughs> And she said, this is the same lineup for the Bahamas Conference. <laughs> I said, I really wasn't trying to do that. It just happened that way. <laughs> she preached a design at the Bahamas Conference, and certainly our preachers a night as well. We're grateful to have this young man to come and to bring a word tonight from the Lord. He put something himself out on Facebook. And I'm just going to see what he said. <laughs> well, I lost it. <laughs> but it says something like this. That there are those who think he's too young. The pastor of the Metropolitan in the Zion Church. And so he put something out there that said he had pastored four churches. Started pastoring how old you were? 17 when he had his first church. Been pastoring for 20 years. He can't be much older than 20, but. <laughs> And so he's pastored here as well as Botchwood. Did an amazing job, amazing job. And, and then now he's an esteemed pastor of my home church, the Metropolitan Amy Zion Church of Hartford. He also works very closely with me 
on the Hartford District as well and the New England Conference. I'm grateful to have him, you know, as his faithfulness, his loyalty. We thank you for all that you do to make the presiding elder's job look good, amen? <laughs> so thank you for that. And so after this choir come and bless us in song, the next one will be that of this great and wonderful pastor, the Reverend Samuel Blanks. Come on, let's say, come on, come on, let's give, come on, give him some love. Oh, we can, his, his lovely wife is here with us, they sister like to thank God for you and the family. Come on, we can do a little bit better. Hallelujah. Keep the fire burning. Keep the fire burning.
let's put our hands together and give God praise. Come on, if you know Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life, no man comes to the Father except by. Come on, let's give God praise. done for you and how he's brought you through some stuff, danger seen and unseen, you can't help but when you've had a, when you've had a hard year and the Lord brought you to district conference, in one piece, you ought to give God praise and glory and honor, for he is wonderful. Listen, let me, let me, ooh, Lord, I feel mighty nice in church tonight. Let me say, to Elder Hartville, um, our district leader, who is a gem in this district and in our church. And I've never seen a man like this in leadership who can wear a different color shirt than you. 
mine is black and his is blue and can treat you as if you sit on the same level of the church as he does. And we celebrate him for his godly leadership in our district. To Sister Lydia Harvey, we've praised God for her and for who she is. To the Hartford district. To my vanilla. <laughs> my vanilla chocolate, amen. My, who we made some beautiful uh, caramel babies. I want to thank you for taking this journey in ministry with us. I'm only going to tell one secret, and it's the truth. She thought she was going to marry a politician. And she thought she was going to stay in the Catholic Church all her life. And then she met a preacher. <laughs> became Protestant. Come on, y'all. <laughs> but we do celebrate Pastor Dr. Counts. Can we celebrate he and his wife, Lady Counts, for their genuine transitioning in church is not easy. It's not easy, and I thank God for who he is and in our spirit of transitioning all together. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And we knew that this house was in good hands when we knew you were coming and we could go to Hartford and serve the wonderful people of the Metropolitan Church. Mercy Park, can you just stay in? I see you, it's Friday and I know my people. It's Friday night and then for them to come to church and to press their way. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And uh, this marriage has worked out well, and we thank God it has worked, amen. And we thank God for the metropolitan people. Listen, let me get to the task that's ahead. First Chronicles chapter four, come thy fount of every blessing yeah, yeah. to my heart to sing thy grace. Assault me when a stranger wandering, fold of God. Here's my taken silly, silly. 
Lewis. First Chronicles 4 and verse 9 and 10. Reads on this word, and Jabez was more honorable than his brothering, and his mother called his name Jabez, saying, Because I bear him in sorrow. Jabez called on the God of Israel, saying, Oh, that thou would have blessed me indeed, and enlarged my coast, that thou would have kept me from evil, that it may not grieve me. You know what? God did it. God granted him that which he requested. I want to preach briefly from this subject tonight. It's worth the wait. It's worth the wait. Amen. The more that I read this text in prayer and preparation, it appeared to me that before Jabez received the blessing, he had to deal with his birth. But sandwiched in the middle of his birth and his blessing was a burden. the process of Jabez getting to his blessing. He's in the middle of a more trying time because had he never gotten over his birth, he would have never got to his blessing. His birth says that his mother bore him in pain. Nothing that he had anything to do with. But because when she saw him, it represented something that she dealt with. And when he was birthed, the first thing that she could say was that you remind me of pain. Wow, 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 wow. And Jabez will live, and it does not say how long he lived and what age he was, but by the time Jabez actually comes to himself, if you will allow me to say that, when he actually comes to himself and identifies that he's not what he was labeled. Somewhere when he came to himself, he discovered that how he was labeled as a baby will not determine where he will go in his future because his past is not what's going to determine his future. But, but, had he not came to grips with himself, he would have remained in the prison of what he was called in his past and never fully embraced what God has in store for him. I don't know who I'm preaching to right here, but somebody might be in the middle of a blessing. And you know that there's more in you. You know there's more for you. You know that God is leading you to greater things. You know that God is speaking to you to go higher and to go deeper and to go wider. But you are afraid to step out of the box because you've been boxed in by your birth. <laughs> with somebody and just remind your neighbor and say, neighbor, yeah, that might be me. <laughs> that I've been boxed in by my birth. And you do know that some people will allow the way that they were born, where they were born, to who they were born to, to not allow them to look beyond that because none of us can pick and choose the 
the families that we were born in, the conditions that we were born in, the homes that we were raised in. But one thing you can do something about is not allow yourself to stay in those dark places. Is at a place where he's going to do one or two things. He's either going to break internally. Wow, he feels as if that he's breaking externally. And there's an internal breaking that nobody can see. In fact, you had to probably borrow a smile just to get to church tonight. Heartbreaking financial breaking body breaking then it shows on the external because what you've been fighting with inside is starting to show up on the outside because you're starting to just y'all gonna hit me preach tonight you've done a good job masking it for so long internally telling everybody that you good when you're really not y'all gonna hit me preach tonight I never And you gotta imagine that, brother, my sister. Jabez is walking around with the label pain. People are disassociating themselves from him. Because when he walks in a room, here comes Mr. Pain. <laughs> with anybody because when they see him only thing they can see is pain and nobody wants to be bothered with pain but J. Bass is saying what's wrong with me and I wonder has there anybody in church ever said what's wrong with me I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm just like Everybody else, I got two feet, ten hands, ten fingers, two eyes, short hair. sermon when when he when he got over how he was born when he when he dealt with it however he dealt with it but he knew he couldn't deal with it like everybody expected him to deal with it but then he did something that's more profound that I think he called on God. When he couldn't call on anybody 
somebody else. He called on God. Some call him Jehovah Jireh. Some call him Jehovah Nisi. Some call him Jehovah Rapha. But down in the country, they call him a way maker. They call him a bridge over troubled waters. They call him a doctor in a sick room. A lawyer in a courtroom. I don't know what you call him tonight, but if you don't mind, can you just call his name one time? Listen, the more you call him, the better you ought to feel. Call his name. And Jabez called on the God of Israel and said, huh, I'm in the middle of something, God. Some personal pain that I didn't cause. Yeah. Dealing with family pain that I didn't cause. But because I remind the person of pain, they named me after what they endured. But I've learned how to live with it. some stuff you didn't cause. Had to live with some trauma that you didn't cause. Had to live with some issues and some and some results that you didn't cause. But he said, but I called on the Lord and I began to pray. And I prayed and I prayed and my prayer was simple. It wasn't God make me rich. It wasn't God Situation. 
God. He'll do his very best to try to pull you in every chance he get. But is there anybody in church that know tonight that you are blessed and you refuse to turn back? God brought you through too much for you to turn around now. He brought you out too many things for you to give up now that easy. Why? Because you know you're blessed and you know how you got blessed. You know why you got blessed and you know where God wants you to take your blessing. He wants you to take your blessing out of the normal circle and enlarge the coast. So if you've been a blessing, guess what? Go and be a blessing to somebody else. Is there anybody that'll help me close like this? It was worth it all. The good days, the bad days, it was worth it all because guess what, y'all? I've had some good days. I've had some weary days. I've had some sleepless nights. But when I look and think things over, all of my good days outweigh my bad days. And I won't complain. Why? Because God has been good to me. Has it been good to anybody? Is there any blessed people in church tonight? And I'm going to tell you how you know you're blessed. He woke you up this morning. Started you on your way. How you know you're blessed? He put a roof over your head. Shoes on your feet. You know you're blessed. And if you're not too cute and you're not too saved, can you find your neighbor and say, neighbor, Somebody know he's worthy tonight. Does anybody sure enough know that he's worthy? Ah, come on, put those blessed hands together. Let's celebrate God. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy to be praised. Aren't you glad to know tonight that it was worth the wait? And I don't know what you've been waiting for in this season, but it's been worth the wait. And God is getting ready to enlarge your territory. Does somebody feel that in the atmosphere tonight? That God is getting ready to enlarge your territory. If you believe that, begin to lift up your hands and receive it tonight. That God is going to enlarge your territory. So it's been worth the wait because God is going to manifest himself in your midst. Everyone standing, everyone standing if you can. Hallelujah. We have heard from heaven tonight. We have heard from heaven tonight. And that story might be your story tonight. You may have heard exactly where you are and what you are going through even in that word tonight. Some things you didn't ask for. Some things you were just born into. Ah, but even in the midst of trauma, even in the midst of pain, even in the midst of the struggle, God still has a blessing with your name on it to enlarge your territory. So tonight we want to extend an invitation to somebody who may not know the Lord Jesus Christ and the pardon of your sin. There may be someone who may have come to district conference tonight and just because a district conference is going on, we're not going to assume that everyone is saved. Hallelujah. So we want to extend an invitation to someone tonight who needs to receive the Lord Jesus Christ. Maybe you're watching us virtually. Hallelujah. We are believing that God is still mighty to save. Even on a Friday night, God is mighty to save. Oh God. Oh, I see a sister coming down the, the aisle even now. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. You, you press your way. Ah, God, you press your way tonight. Ah, you take your time and you get here. Oh, bless your name, Jesus. Oh, God. Is there another one? Is there another tonight? Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Is there another? Is there another? Maybe you need restoration tonight. Tonight is your night to receive what you need. Oh, the power and presence of God is here. If you need to be restored, if your connection with Christ needs to be strengthened, come, come, come. Oh, bless your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. The invitations are still going forth even now. The invitation is going forth even now. Salvation. Rededication. It's here even now. We'll wait on you. We'll wait on you.
Jesus. Loose your peace, oh God. Loose your peace, oh God. Let the blood of Jesus be prevailed right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Consume her, oh God. Consume her being God even now. Because there's nothing too hard for you. So God, we speak to her mother. We speak to her mother's condition. We speak to her mother's situation. Move, Holy Ghost, move. Send the healer. Send the recoverer. Send the breakthrough, God. Send the deliverance. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, turn it around, oh God. Blow our minds, God. Perform your word, God. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, oh, we bless you, God. We bless you, oh God, for what you're doing even now in the spirit. So do a new thing in this sister's life right now. Do a new thing in her life. Do a new thing in her midst. Show yourself, mighty God. Show yourself strong in the name of Jesus. Oh, we bless you, oh God, for the asking. We bless you, oh God, for the asking. Do it for your glory tonight. Do it for your honor tonight. And we'll bless you. In Jesus' name we do pray and do give thanks. Somebody shout amen. Somebody shout amen. Hallelujah. 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 God is moving. God is moving. We need to pray for this sister right now in the name of Jesus. Come on, let's pray for this sister right now. Nikita, anoint her with oil. Anoint her with oil. The power of God is here. Come on, God. Move, Holy Ghost. Move, Holy Spirit. Come on, come on, prayer warriors. I need you to pray. I need you to pray. Uh-huh, looser, 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 looser. Hey, God, looser in the name of Jesus. Come on, we speak to her body. We speak to her body. Oh, God, we speak to her body in the name of Jesus. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Come on, God. Come on, God. Come on, loose it, God, loose it. Hey, God, release it in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Ah, oh, God, you're doing it for your glory. You're doing it even now. Woo, Jesus. Come on, God. Come on, God. Let your kingdom come, oh, God. God, let your will be done even tonight. Oh, God. As ministry is going forth, I'm believing God for every person under the sound of my voice. You may not be here at this altar, but you may have a need tonight. And I speak to every need in this house in the name of Jesus that God will minister, God will move, God will heal, God will deliver, that God will set free, that God will provide, that God will protect. I speak that over your life in the name of Jesus. So we bless you right now, God. We bless you right now, God. We bless you right now, God. We bless you. We bless you, God. We bless you, God. Uh huh. Uh huh. Come on, Holy Ghost. Come on, Holy Ghost. <laughs> uh huh. In the name of Jesus. And it is so, God. Uh huh. Come on, do the work, God. Do the work, oh God. Come on, do the work, oh God. Do the work, oh God. In the name of Jesus. Ah, yes, we receive your peace tonight. We receive the answer even now, God. Even now, God. Oh God, we thank you for the release. Yeah, yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God, we thank you, oh God. 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 Oh, we bless you, oh God. Pull down every stronghold, destroy every, oh God. Thank you, Jesus. Woo, 
God. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. We love you, oh God. We love you, oh God. So God, as we seal this moment in your presence, this precious moment in your presence, God, we know that you're doing it in the spirit right now. So manifest it, God, in the earth realm. Manifest it in the earth realm. God, we say yes to your will. God, we say yes to your way. We bless you, oh God, for how you're moving. We declare and decree these things to be. Uh-huh. In the strong, mighty, miraculous name of Jesus. And we agree with this sister. We agree right now in the name of Jesus. And we declare that it is so. We declare that it is so. We declare that it is so. Yes, God. In the name of Jesus. 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 <laughs> yes, God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Yes, God. Yes, God. In the name of Jesus. Ah, in the name of Jesus. 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 Hallelujah. We speak straight to your body. Even now. Even now. Yes, oh God. Hallelujah. We give God praise for what he's doing even now. We give God praise for what he's doing even now. We thank him. Come on. We thank him. We thank him. <laughs> your name, God. Whoosh, God. Thank you, God. Whoo, Jesus, we thank you. We thank you. And we give you glory, God. Bless you, Jesus. Bless you, Jesus. Bless you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. And it is so, God. Hallelujah. Thank you for the ministry. <laughs> Thank you for your power, God. Thank you for your anointing. Hallelujah. Thank you for your glory. Uh-huh. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you. Yeah, Jesus, 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 Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah. We thank God for the, the prayer warriors that, that rose up and began to pray. Because we believe that God heard us tonight and that God is indeed responding. We give you glory, God. We give you glory. We give you glory. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. Glory to God. We celebrate you tonight, oh God. Amen, amen. Amen, amen, amen. Come on, let's continue to celebrate God. Let's continue to celebrate God for what he's doing even now. Jesus, glory. God bless you, beloved. You may be seated in God's presence if you can. If you can. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God.
give God praise for what he's done in the midst of this place on tonight. We thank him for deliverance. Hallelujah. How many of you was blessed on tonight? Amen. Put your hands together as we celebrate God for his presence and his power that he has manifested in here on tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hmm. Just, just throw up your hands and just begin to just tell God thank you. Just begin to love on him. How many of you know he's been good? Thank you for showing up, Lord. Thank you for speaking to us, God. Thank you for your power. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your deliverance. Thank you for your healing. Hallelujah. He's so worthy. Hallelujah. Sometimes you just have to just reach up and say, Lord, thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. say neighbor this atmosphere is right for a miracle and whatever you need tonight if you just learn how to open up your mouth and say thank you watch God enlarge your territory I don't know about you, but I need something from the Lord. And when you need something from the Lord, it doesn't matter what your neighbor is looking like, but you just got to go for it for yourself and just say, Lord, thank you. Thank you for your power. Thank you. Hallelujah. something to, to worship. Amen. Come on, stand to your feet and just lift up your hands and say, Lord, thank you. committee will come forward and the Reverend Kelsey Hobson will give us our appeal for tonight. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus.
Let us continue to worship God as we prepare to, to give. This evening we are simply asking for $25. If you would be so kind, those who are able and willing, $25. Let us bow our heads. Gracious and all wise God, we thank you. The earth and everything in it, it's yours. We are, are yours. Lord, and so part of what you have given to us, Lord God, we, we give it back to you as an act of worship, as an expression of, of love, as an expression of thanksgiving. Lord, we thank you that we're not going to suffer lack because of our giving. Lord, but the kind of God you are. Oh, you're going to bless us, oh God, in giving. And all of God's people together said, amen. 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 And so there uh, we can give here in person. Amen. Likewise, those of you that are not here and if you choose to mail it, you can mail it. And we can also give electronically. Amen. Amen. Via the cash out that is uh, Hartford District A-M-E-Z. Hartford District A-M-E-Z. Uh, that's Hartford District with one D. With one D. Amen. Amen. So at the direction of the ushers, starting from the rear, making our way up the center aisle and returning our way back uh, toward the up the outer aisle. Amen. Won't you come at this time again, starting from the rear, making your way up the center aisle. Amen. Ushers. Amen. Up the center aisle. Amen. Amen. Won't you stand to your feet? Amen. I believe Rosario Nelda said there was a couple of times that you praise the Lord, and that's the preaching moment and the giving moment. We've already heard wonderful preaching. Amen. And so it's giving time, and so it's time to celebrate. Amen. Come on, come on, come on. Put your hands together. Put your hands together. Amen. Put your hands together. Okay, y'all don't hear me. Come on, come on. cheerful Jesus givers. Will God bless you. God bless you. Open doors, Night, see. 
be seated. Thank you for your gifts. Um, the Reverend Kenneth I. Lewis has sent his wife, he and his wife, $100, presiding elder. Let's give God praise for him. Let the church said, praise the Lord. Have you been blessed tonight? My God. My God. Thank you. We want to thank Spicewood and Metropolitan Church Choir. Come on. And these wonderful musicians. Come on. Come on. How they have blessed us tonight. And music at its best. At its best. And preaching like nothing. Prong like nothing else. Come on. Let's praise the Lord. For this young man, he preached with power and with conviction. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Okay. <laughs> no, my, my helper said I need to do something right quick. No, we're going to do it tonight. Somebody. Y'all do a quick song. Very quick song. Quick song. Quick song. Quick song. Come on, quick song, quick song.
hot up in here tonight. <laughs> praise God, praise God. What a time, what a time we're having tonight. And we thank God for you. Because tonight we're going to give out the license of local preachers at this time. You want to stick this down up and call. Call your name, please come. If you're, if you're not here, the pastor will come and receive it for them. Sister Tiana Arline. Sister Arline, would you come? <laughs> Just stand right there. Sister Adrian Lee Barnes. Sister Barnes, Adrian. She here. A pastor here. Yes, pastor's here. She has a big skills. She's away doing the Lord's work. <laughs> Amen. Sister Jennifer Bevault. Bro. Jennifer bro. bro. Yes, Jennifer bro. bro. Yes, thank you. You, you can stand right here. Sister Remember Gl when you were a local preacher, stand right there. Sister Glenda Davis. Sister Glenda. Sister Felicia Freeman Nelson. Sister Felicia Freeman. God bless you. Sister Felicia Thompson, and I'll be receiving it for her. Sister Gloria Sampson, I'll be receiving it for her. Mm -hmm. Sister Christine Howes, I'll be receiving it for her. Sister Sandra Ardu. Sandra Ardu. Should take it. Brother John Allen. Brother Allen, he's here. Turn this way and God bless you. Pastor, you may be seated. <laughs> yeah, you, you're no longer a local preacher, so I'll let you be seated. God bless you all and <laughs> as you serve and we pray God will richly bless you and give her your best to the master. The best service that you can do and be a blessing to the Lord first, blessing to your pastors, and a blessing to the church. Who knows where you've been called into the kingdom for such a time as this. Ask the Reverend George Window to come and have, give a prayer for these local preachers. Let us pray. Holy God, we give you thanks and praise for what our eyes have seen and for what our ears have heard and most of all for what our hearts have felt. God, these are your servants standing before your altar. They're just starting off right now, but let them know if they just hold on and hold out, it'll be worth it all. God, I pray that you will bless their ministries wherever that ministry may take them. And I pray, oh God, that the lives they touch will be changed and transformed. But most of all, God, that you get the glory. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Go and serve. Go and serve. Go and serve. Amen. Give them a hand. Give them a hand. The courtesy committee with you come at this time. And have we been blessed this today by the Spice Word Amy Zion Church? They have been so gracious, so gracious in hosting this district conference. And I I was reminded that the last district conference before the pandemic 
it was held right here at Spotsman Church. And I preached it at that conference. I preached at that conference. And look at God. We are here, we're here again. Praise the Lord. We're here again. Giving God praise and thanksgiving. Spouses, don't y'all want to stand with her? Come on. Yes. Hmm? She's what now? Oh, my <laughs> yes. Spouses, could you please stand? <laughs> could we have all the spouses standing? Everybody? <laughs> okay. All right, I want to thank you, Presiding Elder Moses L. Harville, for the opportunity to present this courtesy report. The Courtesy Committee extends many thanks to host pastor, Reverend Dr. Jonathan Counts, host First Lady, Ashley Counts, and the members of the Spotswood AME Zion Church. Your dedication and hard work in taking care of the intricate details and behind the scenes work in preparation for such a successful district conference is second to none. We were greeted with smiles and the fragrance of God's love at the door as we were welcomed to the spot. Along with willing hands and hearts ready to answer a question, provide directions and prepare and serve a delicious lunch and dinner. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Also, we are grateful for the opportunity to commune with God along with the teaching and preaching sessions, virtual and in person, that were heaven sent. Spiritual nourishment to take back to our churches to edify the body and glorify God. The work of many made this conference come to fruition. So many of you were part of the services or you performed a supportive act behind the scenes, names too numerous to mention. But know that whatever part you blessed us and most importantly, God knows your every contribution and he will bless you. As I conclude with God in the forefront, guiding and leading us to fulfill his plan, we must keep in mind, Hartford District, to open our mouths and lead with holy boldness. Respectfully submitted, Jill Riley Chair in our Hartford District Spouses. <laughs> Amen. Thank you. Let's all stand and give this church a wonderful hand. They served us so well. Come on, let's do this church. Thank you, Dr. Counts. Thank you, Sister Ashley. Thank you, Spicewood, for being such a gracious, a gracious host. We thank you so kindly. May be seated. We will be almost ready to go. Sister Clay, won't you come very quickly and just make an announcement for tomorrow? And then we're on our way. Somebody's calling my name. What else I haven't done yet? <laughs> Giving honor to God, it has been a wonderful evening, it has been a wonderful day, and we are going to have a wonderful, magnificent day on tomorrow, especially when I see all of your smiling faces, ladies in white with your stoles, men in dark suits with your stoles. We're gonna have a glorious time closing our component, self-care and wellness. You'll be surprised at some of the things we're gonna do. We have a preacher coming from New York. I don't know if she's here tonight, but she's, she's on her way um, from New York City. So let us be in place. The presidents know what they're supposed to do, and we'd look forward to seeing you. 10 o'clock, 9.30 for assessments. Amen. Give her a hand. Hey, man, real quick, um, Reverend Jones, could you grab Mrs. Uh, Harvell real quick and bring her um, up to the front? Reverend Lucky, if you'll come. Hey, Amen. Um,
presiding elder, uh, Lady Harvell, the second chair ministers of the Hartford District um, got together because we love y'all so much. We are so grateful for your leadership. And so we wanted to bless you. And we decided to do exactly that because we follow the lead of our leader who follows the lead of the Holy Ghost. So we just want to tell you that we love you. I am one for note writing. I love to write notes. My grandfather used to tell me I have a way with words. So there is a love note in here. There is a blessing in here. We thank you for your leadership. And this is from the second chair, Associates. The Harvells and we all have been recipients of their generosity and their kindness. Do I have any stewards in this place? If you're a steward and you went in one of those back rooms and the pastor handed you an envelope and you said, my God, the elder. One of these pastors who sat in a room and just out of nowhere, just something just slipped in your hand and you put it in your pocket, you got home and you was like, that elder. That's the type of spirit that God has given unto this district and it's contagious. Cause now I find myself slipping in my pocket because a leader will do exactly what they see others leaders do. And if we can't support our leader, and let me tell you something, if you got people fighting you at your church, it's because you probably fighting the leader. If you got problems in your own the situation, might because you might be fighting leadership. And it's kind of hard to be in leadership if we hadn't developed fellowship. But because we can follow the leader, God has blessed us with amazing leadership. So on the behalf of your district, we want to present you, Elder and Mrs. Harvell, with a little something, something. Maybe you take it. <laughs> maybe, you, maybe you handle it and keep it far, far away from the elder. <laughs> So he don't spend it on us, but that he can spend it on you all. Amen. Bless you, my elder and family. Thank you so much for your love and your generosity. This has been a wonderful, well, mama, okay. Come right on. They just gonna give it to her, all right. <laughs> and this one is for you. On behalf of the Hartford District Lay Council, we love you very dearly. And that's my, Mrs. Harville is my friend. She's my mother. She's my, I don't know, sister. You're just there. And I just love you. Amen. I just love you. And I, I love you too. You know. <laughs> you, get, you get that to her. She can hold on to it. <laughs> Anyone else? <laughs> I'm not going to rush it. <laughs> God bless you. Thank you for your love. We do love you. And we're there for you. Whatever we can do, we are there for you. And thank you for being there for us. You make the work so easy. And for that, we're grateful. Heads bowed and hearts humbled. Now unto him who's able to keep you from falling, from stumbling and slipping who's able to present you to the only wise God, the Christ, with power and with majesty, both now and forevermore. And we sing together. 